Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we can finally face the Panda King right now, and in order to do that, we have to latch on to this. Oh, I, I have to jump on it? Really? Oh, no, I just have to hit it, never mind. And then you latch right on. Okay, that makes sense. Huh, at least we didn't blow up the bits. I see you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Alright, so this boss, basically, as long as you keep dodging, you don't have to worry about getting hit. Then you have to get right over there to him. He has, like, a couple attacks. One of them is, like, a fiery sweep, which you have to jump over. Make sure you pay attention to what he's saying so you'll know when the attack is coming. Now, when he puts, like, uh, two hands up, he's doing, like, some kind of double chop. Make sure you're not moving, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Because he will attack right in the middle of you. And if it's one hand, you gotta move. And every time you hit him a few times, he will just bounce you with his gigantic girth. As long as you keep moving up and diagonally, you'll never get hit by him. Okay, I say one more salvo of attacks, he's gonna be done. There we go. And I did it! Your skill with that game is unparalleled. <laughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakarov volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Thiedish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Alright, so Area 5 is actually not much of an area at all. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's Lair! Okay, so I think you just go straight to Clockwork's Lair. And should we actually go for it right now? I guess we should, and maybe do the Master Thief Sprints later. We were on our way to the Krakarov Volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? All right, now for the fifth and final mission, the Cold Heart of Hate, which is in a volcano, which is not hot at all. I mean, not cold at all. <laughs> Well, it's definitely hot. It's a 
lava. Hey, Sly! The road to Clockwork's fortress is blocked! Do me a favor and shoot out that lock for me, would you, pal? Okay, I can do that. Oh, he just needs square for this. Alright. I can try! Okay, there's no bottles in here. It's just rather a real mission. Oh, it's a real shooter mission. Alright. Okay, it seems like the mine's hitbox is a little off. I think you can only hit the uh, green module on the front or the top. Otherwise, you're just gonna miss. Agile, and they'll try to do like a dive bomb attack on you if you leave them around for too long. Oh, these rocks. Okay. Oh, we got hit. You guys need to drive better. <laughs> oh, again? I don't know if they take more than one hit to die, or they're just really, really fast. Oh, more mines again? Okay, we got this under control. I still have, like, a free hit left. More rocks. Okay, this could be a problem dealing with that and mines at the same time. Okay, we got it. Everything's back to snuff now. Which is good, otherwise we're gonna get snuffed. More Robo Falcons, really? God, how many of these are even here? How many could Clockwork be working with? So I imagine there'd be a lot of metal to use. Uh oh, here we go. Dive bomb attack! Oh! Okay, we made it. Cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. That means I gotta go there myself. Burning rubber. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Okay, so we gotta run over those computers rather than just deal with those enemies. The battering ram is for the mud enemies, and then we gotta try and uh, keep them away. I got it. That's how it works. Can't believe, like, the way to the final boss is just rather a mini-game. It just seems a little convoluted to me. And so far, we're massively losing. Oh, oh, there's more over here. Oh, man, they're, they're coming fast and furious, let me tell you that much right now. Oh, the battering ram would just, like, keep them away, like... Like, push them down into the lava, but they'd keep on coming. Oh god, we're massively behind here. Like, 36 to 26, I mean, that's nuts. That's that's a pretty bad basketball game. Like an NBA half court. Just, just as long as they keep falling on me, I should be fine. But we can't be that lucky. Like, you can't get rid of them for good. That's the problem. And the camera angles are pretty shit. Oh, I think he got it before I did. Oh, man.
Okay, I'll try again. Where are they dropping to? What? How do they get that many so fast? Oh, fuck! Did you see how close I was? Oh, or maybe we are. More than I give myself credit for. Yeah, keep landing right next to me, okay? Because I need them. They don't need them. What are, the, what are slugs going to do? They're just going to crawl around and shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where are they, too? God, that was way too close. They only needed two more. A daring rescue? What's this one? Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there, I've done this a million times. Really? From here? <laughs> Oh! I mistimed that horribly. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Yeah, there we go, we got it. Uh, gotta get to that barrel somehow. Alright, alright, we got this. Oh no! I'm dead. Should have double jumped. And I got no lucky charm. I'm pretty much on my own for this one. But I say we're gonna do it. We gotta try at least. Okay, so you pretty much can just go back to any of these if you want to. That's pretty good. Is that the right thing to do? No, I think I gotta go this way. Ah, there we go. We got it now. Oh, good. We created a little shortcut for us. So we can actually just go back here if we want. And I'll destroy all these computers. They don't need to be looking up at their... Excuse me? What just hit me? Oh, that shortcut is not created permanently. I don't even know what hit me there! I like, it didn't even look like anybody was there! Oh, that was so weird! Well, what happened? Okay, I guess we'll just try it again! Okay, what was it that got me last time? I have no clue. Oh, I think it was that. That statue might have been. Like that statue of an owl? I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Uh-oh. That's what it might have been. Okay. Okay. There's the barrel. Get in the barrel. Maybe I don't need the barrel. Maybe I can just use the uh, invisibility. Or maybe it won't work in this case. Because of these tiles. Okay, so the invisibility will not work. Because of those dart machines. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this is getting a little overwhelming. Mm, gotta time myself. Okay, like maybe the lights cannot hurt you like while you're in the barrel. Cause so far that's what I'm noticing. Oh, yes they do! Oh, shit. I was right there. Oh, give me a moment. We gotta do all... I don't want to talk about it. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just do it again. Right from the start. I'm regressing. Did so well, like, nearing the end. And then I die at the beginning. It's like, what a major setback. <laughs> okay. Let's keep attempting this until we get it. Not giving up that easily, let me tell you that much right now. Too bad that doesn't really serve as an official shortcut. That would have been so nice to have. Oh, wow. I actually dodged that. I thought that was a little too close. <laughs> okay. We're gonna nail it this time. Again, no bottles here. So maybe, like... You can't get through that last, uh, safe until you finish the game. That's what I'm noticing there. Oh, come on, again? Maybe I stick to the side. Because I feel like if I'm going to the middle, I'm more likely to be seen by the lights. Okay, I think this is a little bit better. Not gonna move all the way forward yet. And there you go, I did it! You know, that there is annoying. Oh dear, we're trapped. Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> You sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Ha, <laughs> cheese? Wow. Okay, so how are we gonna do this part? I haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Okay, so I guess you have to pick up the yellow things? Okay. Well, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley. Uh, can I destroy that? I don't know. Oh, okay, you can destroy the shots, but not so much the actual security system. Well, at least the sides cannot hurt you. Okay, I gotta get to that yellow thing. Oh my god, I keep missing. There we go. It's gonna get harder each time. And I can't get touched by the green things at all. That's it. Just a little bit more. You cannot recover any hits, apparently. That's from what I've noticed. Oh man, these things are actually pretty hard to obtain. Because they just glide around so fast. Okay, get them all coordinated in one spot. And you get a little bit easier. Oh jeez, this is going to be a bit troublesome. Yeah, 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 oh, we got it. Oh, one hit kills you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Somehow I, oh, I just recovered. That was unusual. It made it look like I died. Game, why'd you have to scare me like that? That's not nice. Oh, wow. I'm down to two hits now. Okay, are these things shooting faster now? I feel like it's a lot more dangerous now than it was before. I think all the uh, yellow ones are left right here. 
Well, we're gonna do it. Yes! Okay, you're finally gonna save us now. Good work. Whew. Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Uh, are you sure about that? Fine. Okay, that must be the way to uh, Clockwork himself now. Alright, so I say in the next episode, we're actually gonna go in there. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.